Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, first off, I just want to say Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, Happy Friday. I'm filming this Friday night. I uh, hope you're having a good Friday slash going into a good weekend. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a weird week for me. Um, I was off on Wednesday and then had Thanksgiving, did traveling for Thanksgiving, which I'm a little, get, still getting a little used to. Uh, my family and I, we used to never travel for holidays. But now with my boyfriend, he do, his family does do Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. While my family doesn't always do Thanksgiving on actual Thanksgiving, we usually tend to do it on the weekend anyway. Just kind of a tradition we got into. Um, so long story short, I had three Thanksgiving meals this week. I had that Thanksgiving potluck. And then I had actual Thanksgiving. And then we're having uh, my family's Thanksgiving on Sunday. So I got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of eating going on. Um, and today I had to go to work. There was nobody at my office, but I did go into work today, um, and I uh, I suffer from sinus headaches. Um, I don't get them too too often. I used to get them more often than I uh, than I do now. Now it's usually once every maybe like once a month, once every couple of weeks. Especially when like the weather's changing, I get them a little bit more because it's just the changing of the pressure. Um, uh, I used to never ever get those, but ever since I had my daughter. Um, something just happened with my sinuses. They're just kind of crap now. So I've been finding one all day long and I was at work busy. Um, when I was finally done, uh, came home. Cause I had a little bit to eat when I was there, but I didn't really get to like eat like a meal. So when I was done, came back, I ate food. Um, and then I took medicine and I passed out for like an hour just super fun and I woke up and um my nephew's staying at my house today so like running around and getting like so basically long story short it feels like a very weird week I haven't been feeling great all day finally my headache's pretty much gone now I just had dinner and I was like what's gonna make me feel a little bit better how about we play with the makeup how about that so today we're going to be playing with it's the new um, Pat McGrath palette. It's that really, really pretty rosy. What is this called? The Mothership Divine Rose. Now, apparently this is limited edition. Who knows? Maybe if it's popular enough, they'll bring it back. If they do, I mean, no hard feelings. I usually don't fall for the limited edition thing too, too much, but just these colors. Now, I do have, I did used to have two other Pat McGrath palettes in my, like, list, my loves list, like, that I basically do on my, on my Sephora account so I can, like, keep up like keep track of things that I do like I've bought more than once so I can, it's just really easy I can just go to that list and click and add them to my cart and rebuy them um but also I'm sure other people do this too where you know kind of helps you remember things that you might want to get like for a gift or treat yourself all that stuff so I did have the basically the last two launches of the mothership palette I had in that list but I was like no I'm not gonna buy that you know, I love my, my Pat McGrath palette, but I probably would never really buy these for myself unless if I had a really good discount or like my birthday or something. And then I found this one and I was like, okay, I have a feeling I will succumb and I will buy it. But what I did was I removed the other two off of my list. Um, so I'm like, this is it. <laughs> this is going to be it with me with Pat McGrath for a while. Um, but I just, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. I'm sorry. I did because I'd signed up like I something with my in my email I had a code for this um so I think it took 15 percent 10 or 15 percent off which off a 125 five dollar palette you know that does kind of take off some it basically helped with the cost of shipping basically um here's the little card on the inside so it has all the shade names so I'll talk about that um I did I just put a little bit of the um pretty fresh hyaluronic acid moisturizer foundation on a little bit of concealer some powder did my brows and I did some mascara that's all I've done so far because I wanted to have fun with this so here's the packaging and here's the palette oh, oh look at that it's so reflective you can see my phone <laughs> you can see my phone all right and here it is oh it's so pretty now on camera this is showing up a lot more well I mean it is pretty orangey red pretty orangey that gold though oh it's very very pretty so I thought we'd have some fun and put some on my eyes because why not why not um okay 
So I'm going to take this off and get something that has a mirror. I have been using this little palette from this one that I was thinking about getting rid of, but I decided to keep because I, pardon me, I did use it. I've been using this a lot lately. It's really, really easy. I use this for Thanksgiving. It's a really easy little palette. If you're not like a shimmer person, if you don't like a lot of shimmer, I wouldn't say to get this or to keep this if you got it from Poxy Charm. Um, but I really like shimmer, so um, I'm going to use this as my little hand mirror. Now with purchases. So with um, Black Friday having just happened and now people are doing deals on Thanksgiving. Not just It's not just Black Friday and then Cyber Monday. Now it's like the entire weekend, right? So I'm like, you know, it's, it's not that hard to find deals. I'm going to get a little brush. Um, I'm going to dip into, this is the shade Valuria. It's this matte right there. I'm going to do that all over the lid. You know what? There's a mirror in here. Hi, I don't need to use that one. So anyway, um, so the main card that I was planning on using for any shopping, I'd received an alert basically that was like, did you try and make this purchase? And I called them back, no. So it was some company, some scammer got my card, which is annoying. So they're having to ship me a new card, which means that I'm not going to have, I can't use that card <laughs> for any purchases. Now I do have other cards, but that was kind of mainly the one, you know, that I was aiming to use. So... Uh, I did partake in the Shane Dawson merch. I got, I was able to get the pig tumbler, which is what I was so in love with when they first like previewed the merch and like looking at the photos, it's actually what I really wanted. But then when I remember when it came out, they didn't have it. And I was like, where's that mug? So I ended up getting the sweatshirt, which I do really like that sweatshirt, but that tumbler though. So I was able to get that. And then actually off the Jeffree Star website, um, they I've always wanted one of his hand mirrors. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, but there's never one that I was like, yes, that that fits in with my theme. And that's really, really cute. Like they're all cute and they're all a vibe. But it's that, um, he has, it's like an iridescent white mirror, which my vanity is white. My mirror is white. I've got a lot of white <laughs> in this room. So, but it, it's a, you're just, it's kind of like has a little bit of a green to it, which actually goes with my blanket that's on my bed. So I was like, that's it. That's the one that's perfect. So I, I'd forgotten, I hadn't set an alarm for it. So I was like, oh God, everything's going to be gone. Cause it wasn't until I think it was, it was last night that I was able to go back on the Jeffree Star website. And I was like, well, the mirror's probably gonna be gone. And it was still there. And I was like, oh, cool. It's like it's meant to be. So I got that. But I have cut back a little bit on some spendings. Um, here, let me get another brush. I'm going to go into... That looks really nice. I mean, like, that was so... I mean, you saw it. That was so easy. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Hi. How many times can I say I'm going to go? I'm going to go into the shade. It's a Skin Show Nude. And this it's a very, like... Here. And see, kind of like a white gold. Let me get it right in there. Ooh, that's a brow bone shade. It's gonna go right under my brow bone. Um, as if you've been following me, I have been saying that I was planning on stopping Boxy Charm. Oh, that's nice. So easy. It's gonna stop Boxy Charm. Um, in December, I was gonna reevaluate. Well, the card <laughs> was tied to. My Boxy Charm account is the one that needs to be done. So I was looking through the charges that by the time that I'm going to get that new card, um, what things are going to be coming up. So what am I going to have to like move over to something else? Or if it's something that I don't necessarily need, should I just get rid of it? Um, there, uh, there was a, there was a clothing thing. It was a subscription where it's like, you can skip the month or not. So I just got rid of that. Um, just fab is also at the very beginning of the month for me. And I've been meaning to cut off my just fab for forever because I just don't buy shoes that often. So I need to call and skip that. Um, but that's what, I mean, I normally do that anyway. So if I don't get to do that by the first, then I'll just skip it like I normally do. And it's fine. But BoxyCharm, it comes out of my card. That's not a, you can skip it if you get it. So I went on the site. I was like, you know what? It's a sign. So let's just... 
Let's just stop BoxyCharm. I can pick it back up again. It's one less thing for me to have to worry about. So I went to cancel it. So of course it's going to say, are you sure you want to cancel it? And I said, yes. And then it said something. I think it was, I think it said, uh, I forget what it was. Oh, it says you could pause it. You could pause your membership for a couple, of, it gave like an option of one month, two months, maybe it was even up to three months where it just wouldn't charge you for those couple of months. Then you could start again. I was tempted by that. But I was like, no, because I think I need at least six months. Because again, we saw how much I got rid of. <laughs> we saw how much I got rid of. Um, so um, I was like, no, I want to be able to make that choice myself, right? So then I should keep doing my makeup. Um, we're going to go into, so we got the brow bone, we got the transition. Let's do this really pretty shimmery shade right here. It's a it's kind of like a mauvey brown with some shimmer. That is Love Lace. And I'm going to use which brush? Which brush? I'm going to use this brush. Um, so, and then a third time, it says, are you sure you want to? And remember how I said in the last BoxyCharm video that now they're doing a, you can like reserve one item. So you get a choice and you can reserve one of those. Now it was a skincare thing. It was a serum or something. And I was kind of excited about it, but I was like, you know what? I don't need to keep that. It's fine. If I miss out on that one, it'll go to somebody else. They'll love it. You know, they probably need it more than I do. So what they did on this third time trying to get you to change mind, it showed me that item and so basically if you follow boxycharm you always get a preview of up to three items at the beginning of each month because they start shipping out like like kind of beginning of the middle of the month because you get charged on the first it's usually around like six seventh eighth sometime around there you should get the notification that it's being shipped to you at least for me sometimes it's later that's happened before so they showed that item and then two other items that basically are going to be in that preview one of them was a uh so spoiler <laughs> well you know i don't want to get in trouble not that they would care about my channel but so i'll talk about it next month but it was a a palette from a company that they haven't done one with before that i have one palette from um and uh, I forget what the other item was, but I, oh, they were trying to pull me in with that palette. They were trying to pull me in. I was real close, but then I was like, no, <laughs> you don't need it. And plus you can't, I'm not going to type. No. So I said, no. So I was strong. <laughs> and I said, no to BoxyCharm. No BoxyCharm. I'm good. So there will not be a BoxyCharm video next month. <laughs> we're not too disappointed. It's not one of my videos that does super, super well, so take it as a sign. <laughs> We're over box charm. Um, I think I'm going to go into this really, really pretty. This See, look how rosy that is. That shift there, it's more orange. Gorgeous. This is VR Rose Venus. I'm going to use my finger. Look at that. Here, we'll do it right next to that swatch right there. Oh, oh yeah, see that? That's why I bought it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that all over the inner, the mid part of my lid. Matches my nails. My my. Uh, this is the first one started to chip. But hey, all I did was I didn't do all the really necessary steps that you should do if you're doing a whole manicure, which is basically the ones you would do if you were getting a manicure her manicure in a salon I didn't worry about my cuticles I didn't do acetone to clean I didn't like super prep all I did was make sure that they were not chipping <laughs> make sure they were I filed them and I clipped them and I did a base coat and I did uh two coats this is the uh play rose from hollow taco and then I did I got a glossy I got one of her Top coat glossy tacos, not the hollow glossy taco. Remember, I'm gonna do a video on that, so we'll 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 walk through all those things. <laughs> um, but you know, I just really wanted it for that 
uh, dinner I was going to end because I really want to try these out because they're so freaking pretty. And I was like, I must have you on my fingers right now. I don't care if it's going to chip tomorrow. I just want it on my fingers right now. So that was Sunday and now it's Friday. And this is the first time that it's started to do something. So, hey, that's pretty, pretty great that I get a notification. Oh, well, look at that later. Um, so look at that. Pretty. Very, very pretty. Not that much required. It's what I'm going for. Oh, okay. Hold on real quick. I'm going to put this on my inner corner. I tell you, these inner corner colors these companies are doing are getting a lot better. It used to be a real big struggle for me. I'd have to get like a pure white eyeshadow to really get any reflection. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go into this matte right here for the outer corner. This is ex Extreme Mahogany. It gives me Hunger Games vibes. I really need to wash my brushes. I'm starting to go, ooh. I'm going to go on this little one, this guy. So that's what's going on with me. <laughs> Shopping woes, total first word problems. I mean, it's not a bad thing at all that in a way that this happened. It just kind of stinks because I do have a child who does want things for Christmas. So it would have been nice if I'd been able to really start that this weekend. But I mean, there's always gonna be deals. There's always gonna be deals. I think companies have figured that out now. Like if you give us a deal, it's going to move better than if it's always, if you just save it for holiday time. I'm just tapping this onto my outer corner. Oh, see, like, I mean, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I can just, I'm just going to blend this. I can just put it on my eye and it just does the work for me. It's so great. It's so great. So nice. Ooh, okay. Now this is gorgeous and I could just go into um, my lower lash line, which I will do, but I kind of also want to put a little extra. Um, I'll swatch some of these other ones on my hands um, when I'm done. Um, I'm going to put a little of this. This is this kind of white gold foily glittery kind of shade. This is Astral Solstice. Ooh, it's kind of like that really wet looking. I'm going to put that right in the middle, just slightly right in the middle of my eyelid. It spreads it out. You see, it's just kind of like a little like wash of glitter, kind of like how the, the Tati glitters are. It literally is just like a wink of some glitter. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Here, I'll do some more. Ooh. So nice. I mean, look at that. I mean, that was like nothing. No work at all. So now I'll start with the lower lash line. And I'm just going to do, um, well, I'll do these two and then that one on the outer. So, yeah, so getting ready for the holidays. It comes faster than you think. I should have been preparing, but I wasn't. Had I known my card, who would have been compromised? Luckily, don't worry, no money was taken. It's a good company. It's a, uh, it was trying to come out of, it was from a, located in, um, say the location was in California. I'm like, oh, I'm on completely the opposite coast. Um, but that has happened to me before and I wasn't so lucky that time. Um, I was able to get my money back that first time. This time, none of my money was taken. So, oh, okay, hi. That was that was my fault. I'm just trying to put a brush in my eyeball. Don't do that. There, that's nice. So, yeah. Okay, let's just finish real quick, and then I'll do a little swatchy swatchy, and then we'll be done. Um, So, I already had some mascara on, because I wanted you to not be terrified of the naked mole rat that was looking at you. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Because honestly, I'm so happy with my makeup right now. Like this, the collection that I have, I think it's fantastic. And like, this is kind of like the cherry on top. The only thing that I'm waiting on is the, the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson conspiracy palette, which I will eventually get and hopefully it comes unbroken. <laughs> Cross fingers. Um, so once that comes, then pretty much everything that's like pending I'm good. Um, it's just things that I 
kind of go through regularly. Um, but I'm not, I've been looking at, you know, of course I've been looking at things cause I can't help myself, but there hasn't been anything that I'm like, Oh my God, I have to have that. Like, I'm not going to lie. The new Huda retrograde, I think that's what it's called. Retrograde palette. That is very tempting. It's very, very pretty. Um, but I really, really like that nude palette that I showed before that I do have up here in my collection, but I haven't used it yet. I'm just doing, this is this, um, Cinderella highlighter from ColourPop. I'm just at my house too. Like I'm not going anywhere. This is just for funsies. But anyway, um, the palette I already have from her, I haven't used it again yet. I'm going to attempt to, um, but you know, I'm going to try to just stick with things that I know I would actively use it. And so far, Huda is not something that I actively use. ColourPop, yes. These little tart palettes, yes. Oh, right now, these Pat McGrath palettes, yes. Because look, look how pretty. This is just a pretty vulgar blush that I use. Um, I keep saying that I will do like a get ready with me like from the beginning. And I promised to do, do that, but didn't think I would have time to fully do that today. So maybe next one or something. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see. What you want me to do? So I have, if, um, I have started doing down in the description saying what's on my eyes. I will do that again today, even though I just did it. But I'll put it down there for you. Um, it's just the eyeshadow. I'm not going to do any eyeliner. I'm actually starting to come away from always doing eyeliner since now I'm actually getting mascara that actually like with like when I do like my curler and like it actually like lifts and separates. I don't feel like I have to do a liner to like help build that base of the lash line. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the white. Um, I did this. I forget what, oh, I, I forget what I was going to that I, you, oh, uh, the, when I went, to, was it when I went to the concert? I forget. Um, but I went somewhere and I, and I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, I have that white eyeliner. Let me use that. And I did. And oh my God, it's like obsessed, like obsessed. Like this is why white eyeliner is a thing. See, just a little bit. It helps wake you up. You, you, just slightly. And I remember that when I did wear it that night, like it lasted a really long time, which is fantastic. Oop. Um, okay, did that, did that, did that. Let's do a little, I'm just gonna use the tart spray because I'm trying to use it up. I do really like this spray. There's so, there's so much of it in here. This was definitely a really good value from BoxyCharm, um, but I'm kind of over it. And I kind of want to get rid of it and be done with it. Um, and then I'm going to use, I just used this um, when I went to Thanksgiving. Where is it? This is um, from Catherine Light's Dream Street Collection. This is the Moonchild um, uh, lip. And it's very, very pretty. It's got a like, slight like gold, like I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's got slight like gold shimmers into it. Check out, check it on Boxy Turner, or not Boxy Turner, on ColourPop. And it's just like... It's so nice and so light and it really works it works so real quick let me swatchy some things for you so we did we did the brow bone shade that's skin show nude and then we did oh this is the astral one here i'll do a little bit more of that astral one this is that glittery one this is that gold shift one that was the rose venus let's do the gold the fun gold shade it's in the top row, Refined Gold 002. I'm guessing it's that name because she probably has a gold that's like that. Here, I'm just gonna do two. That's nice. It's a nice gold. Um, we're gonna do the the um, the pinky shift shade. This is Iridescent Pink 003. Make sure I get a good amount on there. It's right in the middle of my hand, right there. I'm gonna go a little bit more. It's really a nice shift. This reminds me a lot of the shifty white pink shade in her highlighter palette. So if you were thinking of, if you did get this and you don't have her highlighter palette, 
that was really like that pinky highlighter that's in there. So that's kind of cool um, if you were curious. So there we go. And then the other ones, um, I'll do the purpley matte shade, kind of, or the satin purple shade. It's called Rose Dusk. I'm trying to, it's my jeans, I don't care. I'm going to wash them tomorrow anyway. It's a nut. See, there's still a little bit of a sheen to that. It's not just, there's a little bit of a shift to it. You can see that reflection. It's nice. And then you got really nice mattes. Um, I'll do the Love Lace. I'll do a swatch of the Love Lace too. Oh, it's very buttery. It's just like a barely touch that. Let me smooth that out. You can see that sheen. <gasps> Hello, my hand is shiny. So yeah, so I'm very pleased with this. It's really, really nice. And like I said, I'm really happy with this collection that's up here. The things that are down in the drawer that we talked about. I am going to try because there aren't as many things in there and it's not going to keep growing at the volume that it's been growing, like getting a palette every single month um, and, you know, things of that nature and trying to avoid more palettes. Um, I think it'll help me be able to kind of maintain this a little bit more and maybe a couple months, you know, we'll see maybe if I need to do another declutter or if not, you know, try and just make this like a kind of like twice a year thing. Um, cause what's crazy is that I did one in July and I added it a little bit more to it in September because I wasn't able to get rid of a lot of it in July. So I had more in September and then I just did one. <laughs> it shows there's a lot of volume and was just not really, like, really willing to get rid of stuff. Now I am because the stuff that I have here, I want to use it and I don't want to feel bad about then like, oh, but what about all this other stuff that I have? It's gone now. <laughs> gone now and I know what I'm looking for like for my everyday makeup and like my base makeup um my mascara and my eyebrows and all those kinds of things so um so like I said we'll do get ready with me soon this is the newest thing that I have um if there's anything from uh pal from my previous studio that if you want me to do in the get ready with me um you know let me know down below um if not I'll just pick something and then um, I'll try and do the nail polish video soon. Um, I'm thinking like maybe I'll just do a video on each one since, like I said, I've got the 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 new launch of the Light Slacker from Kathleen Lights and then I've got the Hollow Taco and I just got new ones with that. So maybe I'll separate them. You know, let me know what you think. And yeah, uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Let me put my glass on so I can actually do a little bit. <laughs> So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please. <laughs> very tired. Please subscribe. Um, and, you know, just come have fun with me on my channel. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to see. Sorry, I'm literally wiping off my palette because I put fingerprints all over it. It's so nice and shiny. Um, so, yeah. So just let me know. Uh, what you like to see. I'm going to go wash my, <laughs> wash the gorgeousness off of my hands and enjoy my makeup look. Made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> and in like an hour or two, I'll wash it off. It's great. Um, so yeah, so thanks for stopping by my channel today and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.